Hey, what's up, YouTube? Got everything laid out. Fuck you. Fuck you. Biatch. And, uh, getting ready to push, put this all in. I cut her out. Fucking stupid. Welcome. Anyway, just got my RCAs in today. They are triple shielded, and they're pretty badass because I've never seen them like this. They actually come with a remote wire. You can see a remote wire in there. It says triple shielded to reduce outside noise. Amp turn on wire built in. Badass, let me tell you. Boy, they are coming. Right there it is. They're thinking ahead, man. These things are like velvet. Triple shielded. So, give me some Primo sound. Got the uh, candy wire. Got the uh, power and ground. All kinds of terminals. The blocks. You know. Got the piece cut. And, uh, Come out really nice. Machine screwed. I tried to countersink them the best I could. The machine screws. But hey, I think they look good. And this is going to go in the rod right here. Let me show you. And it actually fits fucking perfect. It goes in like this. With this bracket underneath, see? Gives it like a little lip. Slide that right in there. Look at that. And it won't go nowhere. So, I can drill holes and bring them up through here now. Just gives it that extra special look. Extra added look that's going to be... I don't know. I like to add touches. I'm going to take my time with this build, man. Uh, vacuum that out again. Actually, I can fucking leave that in there now. For now. I don't know. They shouldn't have made it that way to begin with. Because look. It gets rid of all the... I guess I was supposed to hold shit. But you know what? You can put it back in. It's still factory. Got the 15s up and mounted. Ready to rock. A guy has a Labyrinth box for 70 bucks. And it's 2.77 cubes per side. I think I'm honestly going to buy it and get rid of these two separate boxes because who knows what the fuck these are. This might be 2.7 2 cube, but this one is. That one's not. Can you see the difference? Yeah, you can see the difference in size. This one's going to hit so much deeper than that one. will hit harder. And... I don't know. I just don't want to fucking deal with all that. Can't wait to start and putting these in. Fucking pumps. Fucking stout. One thing at a time, man. The next I was right, these little fucking uh, converters. Adjustable line out converter. Don't get the non-adjustable. Just want to look at these again. The Flame Series subs or speakers are so fucking nervous. I'm telling you. They're gorgeous. I just sit here and fucking look at them all day. Hardware sticking. Look at them bitches. They are beautiful. Fucking dusty. Never been played at all. Quality, reliability, and pure bliss.
Audiobon, quality, reliability, and pure bliss. We're on fire. Excessive use of this product may result in complete audio gratification. Audiobon claims full responsibility for your auditory bliss. And it says all these. CEA. Let's turn these bitches sideways. Look at the fucking magnets on these sluts. God damn, they're gorgeous. You know what? There's a plastic thing on here. I should probably just leave it the fuck on. I don't know if that even matters if you take it off. Take it off. Beautiful. Oh, that really wouldn't hurt nothing in the door. I wonder if I just should leave them on. It lines up with the flames. It ain't hurting nothing. Keeps them from getting scratched. What these look like down in the coils. See how stiff these are. Mm, they're pretty stiff. Yeah, they're definitely stiff, man. Let me push them together. Hold on one second. I mean, for a sixth time, I mean, the fuck you want. There's the, uh, you can take these off. Pull that little pin out right here. the tweeter anywhere you want, but is it worth it, man? Really? I don't know. They are gorgeous. Nice little covers, too. Strictly for them. Hold up my old capacitor. I'm gonna use that in this build. And uh yeah. That'll be it. Running five hundred watt alpine and a seven hundred and fifty watt kicker. Pushing two fifteens and all of them is my my speaker set up. So, alright guys. Oh, and I did some work on the wheels today. They turned out pretty nice. I don't know. They were pretty nasty. Black looking. Look like this right here. See that blackness right here? I painted them. They're looking better anyway. Here's one that's finished. Looks way better than the pitting, black pitting. So, 
filthy. Hard to keep black nice. Alright guys, I'm gonna walk this shit up, go to bed. Alright, less than a week to get started on this bitch. And she'll be pumping. Peace.